I wanted a leopard tablecloth, but we ran out of fabric. Coach Mordechai here, not substituting for anyone. With the NBA season about to start, we're gonna take a look at last season's best suits that graced the runways of the NBA tunnels. I love how these guys wear graphic tees with a suit. These aren't just graphics. They're centered, they're right there, that's their tie. They don't need to be wearing collared shirts. They're not going to a formal affair. And if it's a rule of the uh, organization that they have to wear a suit, at least they're having fun with it. I like that they're not required to wear a button up. They clearly are getting dressed. They're clearly taking pride in what they're wearing and I love that. Everyone that's not a doctor, that's not a lawyer, that's not a rabbi, should really wear a t-shirt <clears throat> with a suit. It's rock and roll, it's fun, it's edgy, it's different, it's rebellious. These graphic tees that these guys choose to wear are almost more fashionable in a way. There's a Rolling Stones logo, there's a Gucci logo, so they are high end. They're also wearing suit separates, and I don't love suit separates with jeans and t-shirts, but I like it on these guys because they don't have to wear suits. They probably threw away the pants when they got these jackets. They wear them with pride, they wear them with jeans, they wear them with sneakers, they don't give a fuck, and they're looking sharp. I like that. I love that they're wearing patterned shirts with suits. I really love what Kelly O'Bre did in that last season. High-waisted, patterned shirt tucked, 50s PJ collared over the lapel, beat up chucks, perfect crop, the best. I think he's the pinnacle of NBA tunnel fashion. Tucked shirt, gentlemanly, but with swag. I mean, he's got attitude. Damien, on the other hand, pink with the black. I like that print, I like that matchup. His shoes are very shiny and new, it doesn't agree with me so well. I mean, he looks like he's tripping over the handle of his bag and it's killing me, but you can't blame him. They're not modeling. These guys in tunnel fashion, they're just moving along. They're going from point A to point B. And I like it how his shirt is untucked. I don't know if he meant to tuck, if he's about to go into the locker room and he untucked real quick, but I really like that pairing. A strong look for the tunnel fashion is definitely the turtleneck and blazer. It's flair, but subtle. It's not a graphic tee, it's not a pattern top. You can wear a pattern suit and just let your clean turtleneck rise. You can put your chain outside, you can put your chain inside. It lets your entire outfit shine because it's just so clean up top. Down below, I mean, the pants could always be longer when the NBA guys get dressed, but then again, it's probably hard to find their inseam. I like the idea of clutching your shoes that you're actually about to play in. I don't need a Louis logo duffel bag to carry my shoes. Here they are, subtle flex. The sneakers, I'd rather see hard bottoms when you're wearing a turtleneck and a blazer. There's a play we're seeing a lot of in the NBA tunnel fashions, which is vests worn without a jacket. Damian Lillard's been a champion of this trend. I like how Damian Lillard's clutching his jacket and his phone in one hand, a man about to make a meeting, a man about to make a big play, a man on the move. When I see him without a jacket being clutched or over the shoulder, not worn at all, it sort of looks like a onesie and blends right in. To us non-professional players, I don't mind a vest worn with trousers, but I think a jacket in the hand clutched is the real power move. I really like what DeAndre's doing because the vest sort of looks knit. It doesn't look like it's the same fabric as the trousers, so it's not necessarily a suit, but it's part of suiting. I also like that he's wearing a fedora over his braids, very classic menswear. I like that these guys are wearing businessman suits. They're in the NBA, they can wear anything they want. There might be rules of travel, you must wear a jacket when traveling, you must wear a suit, but I like that. It looks like they're wearing their own clothes. Wear a tie, don't wear a tie, they're not going to win a meeting. A tie is not required. If you're gonna wear a pattern, I like a window pane or a subtle plaid. The bolder plaids, for the bolder ballers, makes sense. I like that PJ stays with the high waist. It's wide and flared, but high waisted, and it doesn't look that comical on him. I actually like it. The shorts with the blazer as a short suit, I really like for an athletic guy in an athletic cut. These guys don't have to wear hard bottoms. That's also really interesting that they go above and beyond and actually do wear lace-up shoes that they're not playing in, not just sneakers, but actual shoes. Amazing. In a world of loud suits, in the NBA tunnel fashion, when someone decides to wear just chinos and a blazer, kind of borrowed from prep, it's interesting. It's schoolboy, it's fashion without being fashion, they're hitting a trend without necessarily, you know, look at me outfits. I love the upper of a classic blazer with a tie, looks like a sort of rep stripe tie, boutonniere, tie bar. It's interesting to see these younger ballers in elements of suiting, maybe a blazer, maybe trousers, but with chinos, with sneakers, with jeans, kind of really making it their own and not a classic suit. 
With the new season approaching, if they want to flex with more pattern, go for it. But I really hope the crop slack ends. That trend must cease. I really want the shoe to meet the pant. I like what Kyle's doing. He's got an elongated jacket. He's wearing a t-shirt to keep it safe. It's a loud print, but it's also just black and white and kind of subtle at the same time. And it fits him really nicely. As far as color, I really like what he did with the yellow. It's an unusual marigold sort of yellow. The shoes pop as his accessory. This is one trend, the cinched ankle, that might be worse than a crop trouser. You know, they can have all the athleticism in their clothes on court and off court when they're practicing. Why would you want your trousers cinched? Why? I like what Dennis Schroeder's doing, but I think it's more suitable for Apri Ski. Neon. I don't mind it. I like high vis Wakes us up, it's less than boring, it's trending on the streets, and I like that it's trending in the tunnel. My favorite is the way Miles Turner, he does a yellow, but he pairs it with black trousers. No need to go all loud all over. But if you do, I like the green and black combination too. I wouldn't go high vis with mixing the colors the way construction workers do. They do it for a reason. These guys want to be seen, but they're not knocking anybody over in the tunnel. Mauve as a color is pretty cool. It's color without being loud. It's a break from the grays, the blacks, the navies, and the browns without going towards the lilacs and light blues and yellows. It's pretty safe. I like a navy suit, and I like it sort of worn untraditionally with a button-up shirt with a giant flash going through it. I like that they wear sneakers with these particular suits because they're conservative in, in their own way. They can use a little flash with the sneakers. I also like that they're wearing pretty plain sneakers with them. They're not look at me sneakers. Pocket square instead of a tie and pocket square, you know, one over the other. The one dude in the tie, that's great. With this last slide of navy, I wanna see more of that. I wanna see more conservative, less patterns, less look at me, more appropriate fitting suits. Give me color, give me different silhouettes, but keep it classic. The 50 yards or so between the bus and the locker room is the new runway. <laughs>